Have you ever looked at a dragonfly and thought, just another pretty insect? Think again. What if I told you this ancient creature is one of the most lethal hunters in the animal kingdom? With built-in goggles, jet-like speed, and even a 360-degree field of view, the dragonfly isn't just a beautiful bug, it's a flying assassin. Welcome to a world where beauty meets power. Today, we dive into the mind-blowing life of the dragonfly, its strengths, weaknesses, survival secrets, and why it's in a league of its own. Did you know dragonflies are older than dinosaurs? Fossil records show they've been around for over 300 million years. Back then, some species had wingspans of over two feet. That's almost the size of a modern hawk. Today's dragonflies are smaller, but make no mistake, they're still among the most elite flyers in the insect world. Imagine seeing the world with 30,000 lenses. That's how a dragonfly views its surroundings. Their massive compound eyes give them 360-degree vision. They can see in almost every direction at once, detecting movement faster than most creatures. While humans see in three colors, red, green, blue, dragonflies can see up to 30 different color combinations, including ultraviolet light. It's like having superhero vision with no blind spots. Dragonflies are the fighter jets of the insect world. They have four wings that can move independently, meaning they can hover like helicopters, fly backward, pivot midair, and even glide silently. They can hit speeds up to 35 kilometers per hour, 22 miles per hour, outmaneuvering prey with shocking precision. Compared to mosquitoes or houseflies, dragonflies are like ninjas in the sky. Here's the shocking part. Dragonflies catch up to 95% of the prey they go after. That's higher than lions, wolves, or any known predator. Using their front legs as a basket, they scoop insects right out of the air, chewing them mid-flight. Flies, mosquitoes, moths, nothing stands a chance. For comparison, cheetahs have a hunting success rate of around 50%. Dragonflies double that without ever touching the ground. Before they become aerial hunters, Dragonflies start life underwater, as larvae called nymphs. And guess what? They're just as deadly there too. Armed with extendable jaws like something out of Alien, they ambush tadpoles, worms, even small fish. Some nymphs can stay underwater for up to five years before transforming into adults. They breathe through gills and can even use water jets from their rear end to shoot forward like torpedoes. But even the fiercest have flaws. Dragonflies, despite their power, are extremely vulnerable to pollution and habitat loss. Their eggs and nymphs need clean, fresh water to survive. Pesticides, urban sprawl, and climate change are rapidly shrinking their habitats. And surprisingly, once they become adults, they only live for a few weeks to a few months, depending on the species. All that mastery of flight for such a short life. It's a quiet reminder, even the deadliest hunters can't fight climate change. They don't need much, just clean rivers, still ponds, and space to fly. And it's up to us to keep that world alive, because when we protect their home, we're also protecting our own. You'll find dragonflies on every continent except Antarctica. They thrive near lakes, ponds, rivers, any place with water. In Japan, they're a symbol of strength and courage. In Native American legends, they represent transformation and swiftness. Their presence often signals a healthy ecosystem. So if you see one, it's a good sign. Dragonflies aren't just cool, they help humans too. By feasting on mosquitoes, they reduce the spread of diseases like malaria and dengue. A single dragonfly can eat hundreds of mosquitoes a day. They're nature's pest control silent, fast, and effective. So next time you see a dragonfly skimming across a pond or darting through the air, pause. You're looking at a creature older than dinosaurs, faster than most birds, and deadlier than a lion. It may be small, but it's one of nature's most incredible masterpieces. Don't forget to subscribe if you learned something new, and let me know in the comments. What surprised you most about the dragonfly?